Welcome to a lesson on matrix LU decomposition using elementary matrices. The goal of LU decomposition is to write matrix A, which is a square matrix, as a product of matrix L and matrix U, where matrix L is a lower triangular matrix and matrix U is an upper triangular matrix. Notice a lower triangular matrix has zeros above the main diagonal and an upper triangular matrix has zeros below the main diagonal. All the other elements can be zero or non-zero. In order for this product to be possible, A must be able to be reduced to row echelon form, which is matrix U, without interchanging any rows, and we should also note that L and U are not unique. Let's develop the idea of how we're going to do this based upon what we've already learned about elementary matrices. Our first goal is to start with matrix A and then determine which elementary matrices we would multiply by in order to write matrix A as an upper triangular matrix. So the product of a certain number of elementary matrices and matrix A is going to equal the upper triangular matrix. And then if we solve this equation for A, we know we'd have to multiply both sides of the equation by the inverses of these elementary matrices. So that would give us this equation here where matrix A is equal to the product of the inverse of these elementary matrices and matrix U, but the product of these inverse elementary matrices will always be a lower triangular matrix, so we can let L equal the product of these inverses. And this is what we need to find the LU decomposition of matrix A. A is going to be equal to L times U, where L, our lower triangular matrix, is the product of these inverse elementary matrices and U is our upper triangular matrix. I should mention that in the next video, we will discuss a shorter method for determining L and U without using elementary matrices. But let's take a look at two examples in this video using elementary matrices. Let's start with the basic two by two matrix to determine the LU decomposition. To get us started, we know the product of the two by two identity matrix and matrix A is equal to the given matrix. Now we want to write the given matrix in upper triangular form. And because we only have a two by two matrix, that means we want this element here to be zero. Now we'll determine what row operation we can perform to have a zero in this position here. Then we'll perform that same row operation on the two by two identity matrix to determine our first elementary matrix. Since the least common multiple of four and three is 12, let's replace row two with negative three times row one plus four times row two. So the first row would stay the same, four and then negative 16. Then we'll have negative three times four plus four times three, that's zero. And then we'll have negative three times negative 16, that's positive 48, plus four times negative eight, or plus negative 32, that's going to be positive 16. Now to determine the elementary matrix on the left, where this product would perform the same row operation, we're going to perform this row operation on this identity matrix. So the first row is going to stay the same. Second row is going to be negative three times one plus zero, that's negative three. Here we'd have negative three times zero plus four times one, that's four. And since this matrix here is already in upper triangular form, we're actually done for this example. This would be E sub one, times matrix A is equal to matrix U, our upper triangular matrix. But we still do have little work to determine the LU decomposition. So again, this line here is what we found on the previous slide. Here's E sub one, and here's our upper triangular matrix U. If we solve this for matrix A, we would multiply both sides by the inverse of E sub one, which we have here. Now I didn't show it, but this matrix here is the inverse of E sub one. And this is our upper triangular matrix again. But notice the inverse of E sub one is a lower triangular matrix. So we can let L equal the inverse of E sub one. And therefore we have our LU decomposition. A is equal to L times U, where here's matrix L and here's matrix U. Let's take a look at a second example where A is a three by three matrix, which will require a little more work. 
we want to find the LU decomposition of the given three by three matrix. So again, we're going to start with the identity matrix times matrix A is equal to the given matrix. And now we'll perform row operations in order to write this matrix here as an upper triangular matrix. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide where we have more room. Let's start by obtaining a zero in this position here. So let's replace row two with negative three times row one plus row two. And then after we do this, we'll perform the same row operation on our identity matrix to find our first elementary matrix. So the first row stays the same. Then we'll have negative three times one plus three, that's zero. Negative three times two, that's negative six plus negative four, that's negative 10. Negative three times zero plus one is one. Third row stays the same. Now we'll perform the same row operation on our identity matrix. So the first row stays the same. Second row is going to be negative three times one plus zero, that's negative three. Negative three times zero plus one is one. And negative three times zero plus zero, of course, is still zero. So this is our first elementary matrix, E sub one. Now let's obtain a zero in this position here. So we'll replace row three with two times row one plus row three. First two rows stay the same. For the third row we have two times one, that's two plus negative two, that's zero. Two times two plus four, that's eight. And then we have two times zero plus negative three, that's negative three. Notice on the left, we already have E sub one here. Now we'll perform the same row operation on the identity matrix again to find E sub two. So the first two rows stay the same. The third row is going to be two times one plus zero, that's two. Two times zero plus zero is zero. And two times zero plus one is one. We'll call this E sub two, our second elementary matrix. Now for the last step, we want to have a zero in this position here in order for this to be an upper triangular matrix. And since the least common multiple of 10 and eight is 40, we're going to replace row three with four times row two plus five times row three. First two rows stay the same. And then here we'll have four times zero plus five times zero, that's zero. Four times negative 10, that's negative 40, plus five times eight, that's positive 40. So that sum would be zero. And then here we'll have four times one, that's four, plus five times negative three, that's gonna be negative 11. And now to find our third elementary matrix, again, the first two rows stay the same. The third row, we're gonna perform the same row operation. So four times row two plus five times row three. So four times zero plus zero is zero. Four times one plus five times zero is four. And four times zero plus five times one is five. This is E sub three. So notice that E sub three times E sub two times E sub one times A is equal to the upper triangular matrix, which we have here. Let's go ahead and put all the pieces together on the next slide. This is what we found on the previous slide. So again, here's matrix A, here's E sub one, E sub two, and E sub three. So if we want to solve this equation for matrix A, we have to multiply both sides by the inverses of these elementary matrices, which we have done here. And then the product of the inverse of the elementary matrices is our lower triangular matrix. And what I didn't have time to show is finding the inverses of these elementary matrices. So here's the inverse of E sub one, inverse of E sub two, and the inverse of E sub three. Again, notice how the product is a lower triangular matrix. So here's our matrix L. Therefore, the LU decomposition, where A is equal to L times U, Here's the given matrix, matrix A. 
Here's our lower triangular matrix, and here's our upper triangular matrix. So this is how you perform LU decomposition using elementary matrices. The next video will look at a shortcut for determining matrix L and matrix U. I hope you found this helpful.